Salmon yang tampak sempurna ini mungkin saja berasal dari alam atau dari tambak ikan. Tapi salmon ini dibuat dari sejumlah sel salmon dan dibudidayakan di laboratorium di markas Wild Type di California Utara. We've come up with a way to make salmon cells and we combine that with a plant base it's called a scaffold which helps to give the cells the right structure to the, some of the cuts that you're familiar with. Tujuannya adalah untuk melengkapi pasokan salmon saat ini yang mengalami penurunan pesat di tengah naiknya permintaan. So our idea was let's give them another option that doesn't involve putting added pressure on wild fisheries or continuing to rely on farm fish. Sementara itu di perusahaan Upside Foods Uji cita rasa dilakukan untuk potongan ayam yang dibudidayakan dari sel ayam. Ini terlihat dan juga terasa seperti ayam asli. Wow, that is chicken. It's real meat that's grown directly from animal cells, so you don't need to raise or slaughter animals, but you can still have the meat that we all love. Dengan melonjaknya populasi bumi, peningkatan permintaan daging dan makanan laut juga berdampak pada lingkungan. The overall greenhouse gas impact, the land, the water consumption, not to speak of the literally billions of animals that are slaughtered every year for our meat consumption. So we're excited that cultivated meat offers a better alternative for people that gives them the meat they love uh, without the impact. Selain makanan yang dibuat di laboratorium, sejumlah perusahaan menciptakan alternatif nabati untuk makanan tradisional seperti telur dan bacon. My bacon is a delicious replacement for pork bacon which mimics the texture Uh, flavor and crunch you get from bacon, but uses uh, 100% pure mushroom mycelium to do that. Menurut Ricardo San Martin yang mengelola Alternative Meat Lab di UC Berkeley, membawa produk berbasis sel ke pasar massal mungkin belum realistis dalam waktu dekat. Scaling up just cells to produce meat, that's not feasible. We need to know how affordable this will be. You know, this is going to be a solution for everyone or just an elite. Perusahaan daging alternatif mengakui konsep ini masih dalam proses pengembangan. Let's make that first great product that can show what's possible with this technology, and then let's figure out every possible way to like scale this up and get it as affordable and accessible as possible. It is absolutely a journey that is in progress. It will take years uh, for us to really develop the infrastructure to provide as much meat as people want. Pengembangan daging alternatif ini masih terus dalam penelitian dan berjalan lambat. Tapi pada suatu hari nanti, diperkirakan bisa mengubah cara makan masyarakat dunia. Dari Arlington, Virginia, saya Helmi Johannes dan tim VOA.